Enough of this farce. Fedrai, Enrei! What game are you playing? One that you just lost. Give me my sword. Get the Kingslayer! I have to kill you. Try it, but I'm no king. Such a pity we're on opposite sides. I see you still know how to fight. Why do you hound me? They think I killed Voltest. It's your own fault for playing soldier boy. Wild Hunt couldn't take you. and a few elves are enough to kill a king? You've no idea how many people were eager to help us. You really think they will all keep quiet? Your best time is running out. The others will be judged and condemned for sowing chaos. So, why? You were one of us, Geralt. You saved us. Now we're even. Your witch is good with magic. Think she'll be able to teleport me to Edirne. If she behaves, I won't harm her. I'll find you. See you in Edirne, then. What happened? Where is he? Where's the Kingslayer? Fled. Yorvith? Captured. My men have taken him to Flotsam. The Kingslayer may attempt to spring him from prison. I doubt it. He needs Triss. Really? Why? I've set the elves against him so he can't move through the forests. I have to find Triss first. Follow me then. Long live Witcher Geralt! Long live Vernon Roach! Here's to you, noble lords! Long live Tamaria! It seems we've given the Commandant occasion to throw a feast. Open barrels of the best wine! I want to see whole hogs on spits! I hereby declare a holiday! Celebrate, my lords. Today's my treat. No innkeeper or wench will take a penny from you. Here's to our heroes! Have a drink, Witcher! Here's to you, Witcher! See you, Vernon. Right. And don't worry about our prisoner. We'll take good care of him. And here's my Triss. Maybe Dandelion or something. And here he is. Honorable ladies, noble lords, allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. I was so worried about you. Dandelion, we need to talk. Geralt, you're Flotsam's hero. Have a drink. Lorito's buying. I guess I deserve a shot. Cheers. Here's to the beautiful ladies. I need to find Triss. Triss? Oh, yeah, Triss. Totally forgot. She went to meet Sheila at her rented quarters to see this thingamy megascope or something. Anyway, here's to the beautiful ladies. The ladies will have to wait. I need you. Come on. I was lucky enough to get the key to Sheila's nest. Incidentally, for a big woman, the innkeeper's wife is surprisingly nimble. Come on. I spoke that how do you hear that your Don't just stand there. We need to look for clues.
Sheila's bodyguard. His neck's broken, no wounds. So that's not his blood. Triss enters, breaks A lot the guard's of blood. neck. Too much. Then wounds herself? That's stupid. What a mess. Somebody had a good time in here. Trashed everything. I don't get it. Someone else had to... Dandelion, look. What is it? A peephole. Someone might have been spying. The brothel's behind that wall. Maybe the madam saw what happened. Let's go. Oh. Welcome, Dandelion. You're in luck. Freebies today. But you still have to pay for a tag team. Darai, this is Witcher Geralt. We just want to talk. Tell us who used this room most recently. Margot and me. Margot? The madam. What is it you want? Triss Marigold. Red-headed sorceress. She was in the next room. Do you know what happened to her? We, we weren't spying. I know nothing. There's no need to be scared. Just tell us what you saw. I know you looked through the people. Margot was nervous about the holiday. She told the girls to give freebies today. Then she took me to my room and we made love. Just as I was... I was, well... Well, we heard voices and Margot started spying. It was the sorceress and Cedric. Are you sure? Yes. We started fighting for the people. But finally Margot let me take a peek. Triss said she was going to see who the Ice Queen had spoken to recently. She approached the mirror and whispered something. There was a flash and a terrible looking man popped out of the mirror. What did he look like? Like a worm. A hungry old worm. Huh. I wonder... Triss was aghast. And the worm said, Why so pale, Marigold? Have you seen a ghost? Then he smiled maliciously and... Why so pale, Marigold? Seen a ghost. What is it now? Greetings, Death Mold. I wondered who Sheila had been talking to recently. Spying on each other, eh? That's new. What's your business? I'm pursuing the Kingslayer. Maybe you've heard something. Oh, that gives me the chills. Whoever he is, he's done for. You'll change your mind when the Kingslayer nails your ruler. Marigold, think as befits a mage, because right now you bring shame to all sorcerers. Foltest is dead. It's your fault, and as rumor has it, your Witcher lovers too. You don't believe that. What I believe matters little. The rumors do. You and your Witcher are finished in Temeria. Unless you catch the culprit. What did Sheila want from you? Why would I tell you? Because you hate her and only dislike me? You wouldn't miss the tiniest chance to make her life miserable. <laughs> You're right. Sheila wants to unsaddle me to take my place at Henselt's side. <laughs> Henselt hates sorceresses. Henselt lost his son and is having problems siring an heir. He is no longer a young man. She promised him offspring, said she'd guarantee a child if he finds a young, strong woman. He just need to... I know where children come from. Prove she's lying, and I'll be most appreciative. I can't, which means you've got a problem. Slow down. I still play first fiddle, you know. What's Henselt up to? Are you out of your mind, Marigold? Be glad I'm even talking to you. I need to know what's going on. Help me, Deathmold, and I'll return the favor. You know nothing useful to me, and I don't want your graces. You don't tickle my fancy. We'll meet one day when you won't have a king to hide behind. I wait eagerly, Marigold. And I can assure you, I won't be hiding. You've heard that Philippa has left Redania? Yeah. Do you know where she is? I do. But first, you'll answer my question. Fine. A single question in exchange for information on Philippa. Do you know anything about the regicides? No lying. Ah, a mistake, Marigold. I really know nothing. All I can tell you is that it's not of Henselt's doing. I'll let you know if I discover anything. Your turn. Philippa's in Vergen, a small town near the Kidwenia Durnian border. I know its location very well. The remnants of Edan's army have assembled there, led by a lass said to have killed a dragon. Who's the girl? 
She commands a rabble of peasants, poor noblemen, and non-humans. Even Prince Stennis Demaven's son can't disregard her. But that's of no consequence. Hensolt will trample those vermin and chase them off with whips. What's Philippa doing there? Telling you won't pay off Death Mold. You know too little. Farewell. That's all. I didn't hear or see anything else. Dandelion, who's Philippa? Do you know her? Philippa Eilhart, a sorceress counselor to King Radovid of Redania. She's a grand mistress of the world's most fetid cuisine, politics. She's amoral in a crystalline way, so devoid of conscience that she's a phenomenon. Rumor is she's out of favor at the Redanian court, which, if true, she probably arranged herself in order to leave the capital. Dandelion, this is confusing. What do you make of it? Later, Witcher. We need to find Triss. Have you ever spied on Sheila? I tried, but she always cast a spell and I couldn't hear or see a thing. Every time? She forgot once. But she just sat before those mirrors and whispered, Where are you? Where? That's all. What happened to Triss and Cedric? I've no idea. Margot pushed me away to get a peek herself, but I heard a smash, shouting and a fight. Margot covered the people with a picture she was pale and told me to keep my mouth shut. We sat for a while and left only when all was quiet. Margot went to her room and I haven't seen her since. But I noticed Cedric staggering away down the alley that leads towards the forest. Dandelion, wait here. I'm going to find Cedric. What about Marga? Right. We should look for her first. Kedmel, Gwynblade. I no longer feel the pain. Always wanted to die among trees. Cedric, what happened? Triss asked me for help. I killed the Dwan guarding the door, and we broke in. Again, I killed a Dwan. I know. Where's Triss? A Witcher came in. Attacked us. I tried to protect Triss. He was fast. Too fast for me. He hit Triss before she could cast a spell. He knew how to fight a sorceress. Then he ordered her to activate the Megascope. He needed to get to Edern, near the dwarven town of Vergen. Triss said it was madness, but she didn't have the coordinates. He gave her a strange look, threatening. Better give it your best. You're going first, with me right behind you. Then I passed out. When I woke, they were gone. I knew I was dying. The forest called me. Why, Cedric? Why did you get involved? Why did you? Sometimes we must. Have I told you about my visions? That's why I drink. It helps. I'm safe in a mist of vodka. See nothing, feel nothing. Cedric, calm down. But now I see clearly. You need to regain your memory. Only then will you understand who's killing crowned Dwan, and why. How can I get it back? In Edern. In a place tainted with dark magic. Where ghosts of the Fallen will fight a great battle. Save their souls, and your memory will return. happening through the forest. I feel her presence. They come to bid you farewell. My forest. Raphael. Good blade.
Geralt, where have you been? The Kingslayer, dammit. I almost had him. You fled? Teleported to Edern. What? How? He forced Triss to cast the spell. Shit. Roach sent me to find you. We're setting off. He's learned something new. The Scoyatel are also up to something big. What's Roach planning? He went off on Laredo, so it must concern the Commandant. It's something important. What do you know about the Scoyatel, Zoltan? They want to free Jorvef and the other prisoners at your help will be crucial. When did you join the Scoyatel, Zoltan? It's not like that. They're taking the prisoners to Drakenburg. A special prison for non-humans. Bloody monument to human hatred. The Scoyatel don't trust you. Nor me, for that matter. But you can change that. I'll talk to them. Maybe Roger or the Scoyatel can finally be useful. How did it go? Did you get him? The Kingslayer fled to Vergen in Edern. He forced Triss to teleport them both. Damn, he's made a mockery of us! If that's how he wants to play, I'll make him regret it. I heard you have news for me. Lorido has a deal with Kedwin. That merchant living in his house is Hensel's agent. For a pouch of gold, the good commandant promised to support Kedwini troops in the event of a conflict. So what now? I want that spy to squeeze him for information. And I've sentenced Commandant Lorido to death. Roach, we have to sail. We need to get to Edern. I'm not leaving until I deal with Lorido. The spy may know something about the Kingslayers. I wouldn't be surprised if Henselt of Kedwin was behind all this. All right. Let's deal with this spy. Listen very carefully. I'm not repeating this. We have two targets. The first is a Kedwini spy, Arnold Malaga. I want him alive. The other is Bernard Lorido, the trading post commander and a traitor to Temeria. We don't let his kind live. Arnold almost never leaves the residence, so we need to strike there. To get inside, we'll use Vess's unusual talents and Bernard's habits. Stop calling him by his first name. It really rubs me the wrong way. Whatever you wish. Lorido's house. The first floor contains guest quarters. Geralt had the opportunity to take a look. Regular patrols. Second floor. Lorido's bodyguards' quarters. They think they're the toughest warriors this side of the Yoruga, but really they're lame drowners dressed in colorful gambesons. Third floor. The lion's den. Here, Lorido stores plundered valuables. It's where he sleeps, shits, and wanks off while staring at the statuette of a she-elf. Only the following are allowed to enter. Arnold Malaga, Lorido's mother, his cousin, and whores. <laughs> I'm not sure I still have that frog. After making his round at the trading post, Lorido always orders two ladies. Vess will act as one of them. The house is a bloody fortress, but Lorido had it enlarged. The Witcher will enter through the extension. Vess will open a window for you. Once in, you'll have to improvise, Geralt, but you'll have the element of surprise. Vess can hold her own, too. Zenon and Rickard will cover you from vantage points. If things get hot, lure those horsens near the windows. I'll be in the courtyard with the rest, ready to enter in the extreme. I repeat, in the extreme. That's all. Any questions? No? Let's get to work. Your chariot awaits, fair youth. The good spirits of this tower will guide and protect you. <laughs> you. What do you want? The key to the upper quarters. I know you have it. You want to free the elven girl? Your efforts are in vain. Like an Ithleen's prophecy. The seed has been planted and will soon... Start. Shut up and give me the key. The key. The key. Uh, where did I put it? <laughs> It's a trap! Look out! Here alive! 
in shining armor. Make him die in pain. Bitch. What an alibi. There's your white stallion. Quick, untie me. Geralt, we've no time to lose. She needs help. We need to get her out of here. Thanks, Geralt. I heard something behind that door. Don't leave me here. Please. You don't look like a whore, Elf. My name is Morrill. What month is it? This is no time to chat. Can you walk? I'll not stay here any longer. Even if I must crawl out. She won't make it through the garden, Geralt. We must leave by the front. Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. I... I can't make it. I think I... Damn. Her water broke. Geralt, change of plans. But... Back to the tower. I need a clean bed, hot water and some time. We can't be disturbed. Go get help! Geralt, I see we're in time. Where have you been, Roach? A little problem along the way. Defeated by a Dwan. I must be getting old. What now? Consider yourself lucky. Though you deserve torture, I lack the means, so I'll simply lop off your head. You'll die a warrior's death. I don't regret a thing. Impending death has addled your mind. I don't regret that it's you. After so many years, it would be stupid to die from an accidental bolt in the eye. Or worse yet, influenza. Damn! Lucky again, your archers approach. I defeated you once, Jorven, and I can do it again. Remember that. We shall see about that, friend. We shall see. The horseman ran away, but I'm sure he'll show up again. Bloody non-humans. Enough of Jorven. What's with Lorido, and where's Vess? Lorido's dead. I saved Vess. Barely. What happened? Your plan was hardly the most. A boy, Geralt! Healthy what boy! Thing? Whose child is that? Morals. Whose? We found an elf woman Lorito kidnapped almost a year ago. He was the father. I'd never touch a she elf. <clears throat> Enough! We don't have time for that. The ship's waiting. Why did you do it? Why? Don't touch me! I hate this town. Prepare the boat. We sail immediately. What about the kid? It's not coming with us. And who in this hellhole will take in a half-breed? Saharam. Take it to Saharam in Lobenden. And make sure to tell him it's Morrill's child. The assassin had had his day. Very true. He'd kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Foltest's life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. There, in a region known as Lormark, 
King Henselt of Kedwin had made camp with his army. King is the key word here, denoting the central figure in my plan to capture the Kingslayer. The special forces of King made the soil light lightly upon him. Foltest had lost some of their customary enthusiasm, treating us to not one single joke of the how many ways can you skin an elf variety. Which only goes to support my theory that the human mind is capable of producing a finite amount of horror before some manner of reflection springs itself upon it.